but would you like to introduce the players? Yes, we are on Cursed Hollow, and on the left side, our team in the blue trunks is El Nexo, a Spanish team with Alistair on Tychus, Falstead played by Falcon, and um, Grant and Lowell vs. XD, right wing and Anubarak, and Lucifron is playing Chen. And on the right hand side Four, in the red trunks, three, we have two, Sebic one. on the Ufa, we have well, Zoltro on the Arthas, we have ARD, AR, ADRD <laughs> on the Tassadar, we have Saiku on the Illidan, and in the bottom lane, we have Nick or Nickasqua, Nickasqua on the Vala. We will just call her Nicka or him Nicka. And there's a little bit of a gang squ a squad set up. Arthas and Illidan are together here. This top lane's violent. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It here. is. That's that's a lot of potential. This is what I expect the the Korean border to be like. Just everyone <laughs> creeping around. Oh, North Korea's fighter miss. Oh uh, no, it missed. <laughs> it's definitely like the Korean border. <laughs> Shots fired. Yeah. Nothing hit. All right. So both teams Ruther, just grabbing around. Patiently the waiting there. They're just rotating around. That was close. That very almost hit Gran. Yeah, but it wouldn't have helped. I mean, Uther rotated down to mid lane now. And Arthas and Illidan yeah, staying in top? I don't top know. For like. some reason. I guess it's to clear the wave, because it's this is very pushed up. But uh, interesting interesting roam. I guess Tassadar is the... I guess Tassadar and Uther are the laners, and it's Illidan uh, Arthas as the roamers, and they just thought that Tassadar would work better against Brightwing, which makes more sense. I yeah, I mean, that makes sense to have Arthas and Illidan as the roamers, but they're That's staying in lane for so long now, yeah. possibly just it's to because, keep uh, ADRD. It's are pushing hard. Yeah. And keep him safe. Now we have a little bit of a switch incoming. Zyko is making his way to the mid lane, and what Shen might this? be in trouble. This is interesting. I really like this. Like, they're constantly swapping around their lanes, constantly keeping El Nexo on their toes. Valor is now about to enter the top lane. Making this even more interesting, and they're going on to LOL versus XD. But he Ooh, is Alistair also Alistair on the right side. Low. Storm goes down, but they're not able to catch out anyone. And this constant lane switching is very confusing. Lucifron taking a lot of damage thanks to Sisku. But Sisku is able to dodge the, the barrel as well, and shielding out the fire in the bot lane. Ufa is dealing with Falcon, doing a very good job. Heroes, gather tribute. And earn There's the first tribute. It is in the bot lane. Falcon not having to waste his fly to get down there. So if he wanted to, he can do a, go pretty aggro in this fight and then be back to get some health and then fly back in for reinforcements if that is what he chooses. Brightwing hanging around in the top lane. She can TP whenever she wants. But Tassadar also staying up here just to clear and push the wave, choosing not to go full dive onto this tribute. But uh, neither is El Nexo in general. They're actually moving towards their mercenary camps and leaving that tribute alone. Yeah, uh, they're just leaving the first tribute, but you really want to have someone in there to disrupt it a little bit, just to buy a little bit more time. But that not not happening, not happening whatsoever. Team Paper grabbing the first tribute without any real issues, and yeah, that's El Nexo going for the for the booster, uh, for the siege camp here in top lane. And uh, so Lol vs XD is spamming the Anubarak emotes. Wonderful. <laughs> that is not irritating at all. And they're going uh, for the Bruiser Camp straight after this. Um, interesting choices. I mean, well, completely. Well, if they grab it before the tribute comes up, it's not too bad. Yeah, and they should be fine. Uh, right now, the Siege Camp has been grabbed on on Team Paper's side, and they're in a good position to take this next tribute as well. So yep. El Nexo, they need to hurry up now. They really need to hurry up. Anubarak making straight, go oh, going straight for the tribute. Yep, they need to use that knock-up. Need to use that knock-up to interrupt it if they're going to have any hope of dealing with it. There it is! Just in time to get that it was out close. of there. Very nice. And here is El Nexo in full force. They're going to drive Valor back off of this. The knock-up does come in, and Falcon is chasing this Valor down. In comes Illidan as well, but Lucifron jumps in and is able to pick off Valor. And this is a good position now for El Nexo. Should be able to go for this tribute. Yes, they will straight away. Oh, nice little disrupt by Uther. You can't do that again, though. The cooldown is too long. So Brightwing will be able to grab this, and that does even up the tribute count one to one. And El Nexo, still with a bit of an XP advantage. 
Yeah, just a tiny bit. Half a level, maybe. Yeah. Um, About not one kill all that much. At this point. Yeah. And now we have the Bruiser camp being taken here for Team Paper. Yeah. The, the very uh, short Alexa process one. of that. The Alexa one did go down quite early. So this one might actually get a bit more damage due to the fact that the third tribute uh, fight might actually last a bit longer. We can see that uh, Alexa were thinking about going for that Bruiser camp, but they are too late. And Nika able to demount all three members of El Nexo, being at maximum annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's just stopping them dead in their tracks here on the way to the bot lane. But everyone's just staying in mid. I like this quite a bit from both these teams. Just staying on the move and reacting to the next tribute spawn and it's coming up in top good position for team paper they almost have their entire team in position Uther not making a move yet just yet he still needs to stop that next wave from coming in but felt that he's gonna fly up here and low versus xd already stacking on top of the tribute yep looking for the opportunity tasta did take a bit of damage he's healing up from fountain nice interrupt there from Nika, Illidan is there too, but he can't. He's looking for his opportunity. He needs to try and get a good engage onto Alistair or Falcon here. He's thinking about going over the wall, but doesn't want to because down goes Valor. And the second, tri the third tribute, sorry, is picked up by El Nexo. Yeah, that is the second tribute though for El Nexo, which makes that next tribute fight even more interesting now for Team Paper. And both of these teams have level tens now. Not really going for any team fights just yet. Yeah, promote is actually being used here by uh, Tassadar, and it's doing a good job. It did just expire due to the new promote only lasting for 15 seconds, but it was able to hold back the minion wave of uh, of Team Paper there. Sorry, of El Nexo, and was able to help his team push it back. So very nice choice of talent there. Worked out really well for Paper. <laughs> yeah, they're gearing up to take the boss now. That's like, a bit a little ballsy little bit with the tribute up. They have to contest yeah, this tribute. They need to go for the tribute. That's what they're going to do. Oh, Nickers yeah, again caught Nick out of position. Saishu so moves in to help him out. There's no interrupt. Grenade's already been used. Doing a lot of damage. Alistair popping first aid here. Nika having to back up again. No deaths. We might see a death. Semic going very, very low. I see the dash out as well. Nice Divine Storm, but it's not going to be enough. Down goes Ufa. That is another kill for El Nexo. We're seeing Illidan be dropped very low. Nika is now behind the wall, so he's pretty safe. Illidan does go down too. Yeah, Nika still in the back. Still behind the walls. But... That's not enough heroes left alive here for Team Paper to stop this onslaught. And this should be enough for SK to go for the channeling. Yep, Anubarak will get it. Yeah, he will get it done. That's the curse for El Nexo. That is the curse for El Nexo indeed. They're going to use this opportunity to grab their Grave Golem and do as much as they can. Tasta has managed to clear the mid wave pretty well and is now heading up to the top lane to try and deal with that. And due to the fact there are Siege Jacks up there, which will now go unopposed thanks to the curse, but Tassadar already up there, he's dealing with that with the help of his static charge talent, which means while an enemy is Psystorm, is in Psystorm or afflicted by static charge, which is put on by Psystorm, he does critical strike damage to them, and his team, which he has disjoined, is taking their boss to try and counteract the boss of El Nexo. Yeah, that boss is already on the move here, already doing a little bit of damage in the bot lane, and they will take out this Ford. Yeah, there's no way around it. And even making a move, probably going for the Siege Golems, but I don't know if that's a little bit ballsy. That's risky. It looks like they're going to go to mid lane and try and push with their Knights. Try and get the damage done that way. Nice Vault there from Nika. Yeah, T Paper trying to get in the good position to take this. Oh, there's a stun on Lol vs XD, but he of course has that deep dive if he wants to get away. And so far, no lockdown coming out of Team Paper. Oh, a good shock and awe, but of course, Uther uh, can take a little bit of a beating. Yep, yeah, Uther, but pretty strong, probably. Is it tankier support? I don't know. I'll have I to think look so. that up. I think he is. If you exclude shields, because uh, I'm pretty sure Tazadar might take that if he's allowed to replenish his shield every couple <laughs> seconds. Well, let's have a look at these uh, level 10 talents, uh, at least check out if that's something special. Well, Blink Heal by Brightwing. Nothing out of the ordinary, yeah. really. Just the usual stuff. Shock and Awe, Locust Swarm, Metamorphosis, Strafe over Reign of Vengeance to the fact... Like, this is what we saw last game. There is actually a lot of interrupt for Strafe here in the form of Polymorph and Nubrak knockups and Tiger's Grenade. But we saw it used a pretty decent effect in the late game last time, and we've already seen Nika get one very nice Strafe off. If 
Nika can position himself well and get the full damage of Strafe off, this can be what turns team fights in Team Paper's favor. They only have a one level deficit for now. What can they do with this? Which is surprising considering they lost all three of their forts. So all lane have been hit pretty hard here. And they lo also lost a quite a few camps already to, uh, to El Nexo. Trying to make their way again into the fights here in the mid lane. But that's almost level 16 for El Nexo. So I don't think that uh, Team Paper should fight here. Uh, yep, 16 is going to give them an extra talent. You don't want to fight an enemy team when they are a talent ahead. So, we're going to see Team Paper. They're going to back off. They're going to soak lanes. They're going to wait for their moment, wait for another tribute, for example, and look for their moment to fight, their moment to try and catch someone and do the damage. By Lex the way, El Nexo head to going the for double stone skin on Tychus and on Felstad. I like it. Making them a little bit beefier. And I like those choices quite a bit. Because yeah, that gives the, uh, a little bit more sustain in the next fights. This is true. We also have the Critterize being taken on Brightwing, so she can get in there and polymorph someone who is the target, like Illidan, and they will take 25% extra damage, which is a lot of yeah. extra damage from that's, people like Tychus and Falstad. That's one of those uh, choices that all Brightwings usually go for. Ooh, what the heck? What is Team Paper doing? They could have had that tribute, but instead no, they, they they would have had to f they would have had to team fight, and they likely would have uh, lost there okay. doing a clever move of backing up here. Okay, it was and still more clear waves and soak XP. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But really, going back to soak XP is, is not that much worth it right now. It's their um, best choice. At yeah, the it's it's the best level up. It's, it's the best alternative. That's right. But like, it, it would have been a lot better if they could have like maybe stolen the stolen the camp or at least gotten their own camps. Alas, yeah. all the timers were up. All the timers are up, and they are pretty much trapped in the area surrounding their own base and whenever they have vision of El Nexo. So they're making the best of their situation. It's actually very good play, but it's a play that they don't want to have to make because it's a position they absolutely don't want to be in. Yeah, the bruisers are coming back up. And I don't know, I think... They, their camps are coming up soon as well. Yep, Siege Camp is coming up, and that's the next tribute. They're one for one in the this, tribute game. And just cope. They're going to try and clear the wave in the mid lane to make sure they, they get 16, so they're not a talent behind. They are 16. Yep. See, they're going to back up now, get straight to that tribute area, and they have to fight here. And they're going yeah. to fight it here. If they can win it, that is fantastic. But they have to at least try here in order to have a chance of getting back into this game. Good route. Ooh, nice. Nice lockdown there and a really good storm. But Lucifron moves in. There's the shock and all, but missing almost everyone. Lucifron caught out of position there, but he pops his heroic, stays alive for a little bit longer. And Zevik, wow, really caught out of position, taking him out. Good strafe there, though. Good strafe. And now they're going on to Alistair here. Nika also doing the damage and sees it. Uh, Sizchu is really on to Alistair, but he's being burst down due to Ray Tiger's being such a good counter. And Nika doing such a great job of doing all this damage. Oh, but Nika needs to watch out though. There comes the shield out of Tesla, keeping her alive a little bit longer, but Tesla also incredibly low. Felsen is taken out, but Vala is taken out on Team Paper's side, and Zoltro needs to get out of that fight. Tesla can maybe give him a shield, but ooh, there's the stun, and that should be it. And with that, El Nexo will take the second tribute here. That Tesla was couldn't really help out there anymore. That was a truly Herculean effort there by Team Paper. Fantastic jobs. Most of the players did their jobs really, really well. But it just wasn't enough in that scenario. They just couldn't get the damage down. And even when they did, the majority of that strafe did in fact land onto Alistair and LOL vs XD. As you can see, they're pretty damaged here. And yeah, which just, is a good reason damage. to get out of that Ooh. fight, but they it's don't want to give up the boss now. Yeah, they've, they've got to fight this boss here. They they need to stop this oh, from going down. Oh, no, the 6D is being engaged upon. There comes a good stun on Zaiku, but it should be enough with the stun coming up Zevik. Heals the oh. dash. He's so close. There's the dash. Oh, he goes down thanks to the side storm. They're now going on to Alistair, but the rest of the team is here. Oh. Goodbye, Illidan. There's the strafe. There's the root. And he is taking damage. Is able to dash out of there. That golem is so close. If they can steal that just very quickly before the rest but of El Nexo arrives, they might have a chance. They do take down the golem. ADRD is in the circle. He's trying to do it, but there's three Chens in the circle. They have to back up. They give that up. 
And El Nexo once again taking control, taking down Zoltro. And this is likely GG. Another incredible effort by Team Paper, but they just can't do it, Captain. Yeah, that was insanity coming out of El Nexo. Uh, wow. We have to look at that fight later on. Mm. That was insanity, and Shen really saved the day. And Taika staying along for such a long, uh, staying alive for such a long time, even though he was incredibly low. But Shen just did a, such a good job zoning out the opposing team. And right wing, yep, just bribing the siege giants. And keep in mind, towers are quite low already. Wow, this is brave by El Nexo. They are actually delaying the tribute, ta the, taking the tribute just so they can get the golem up so that they can push with it. They may even delay it a bit longer so that it can travel a bit further down the yep. lane before the curse activates it. But no, they're just going to grab it and time it well. Tribute now being Well, they didn't by have the vision to, to really delay it any longer because the mid lane uh, was pretty dark for them right there. So they don't know where exactly Team Paper was at. But now they know and they have the Still seed shines that have, have been cleared up by ADRD. And now curse is up. Boss is on its way, and there are sea giants on the top lane as well. Yep, there's Brightwing. Everyone is now here. It is a 5 versus 5 situation. There is a golem in the bot lane with them. There are sea giants in the top lane. Mid lane's actually doing pretty well because of bruises. But the, <laughs> the question is, can Team Paper survive this? If they can, like, win, if this turns into a dive by El Nexo, and Paper are able to pick them off on the dive onto the core, then Team Paper might still win. But right now yeah. it's not looking good. Nicker is engaged for by Lucifer. Lucifer dropping very low. Is able to pop his ult though. So they completely fine. Down goes Illidan. Thanks to the Oh, would he be caught in the middle there? But nice, nice disrupt coming off. But he can run away. Lucifer pretty low. Can he get out? Need Looks like he can. Up. They need to try and kill them when they're under four. So they're taking his course. Well, they're taking as much damage as possible. But there's only two left now. They need to try and do it. In comes Sevic. And there's the strafe, but it's not going to be enough. There's the brute gets healed up, but he just can't do the damage. He can't break through the Odin. And that is GG, ladies and gentlemen. And it will be El Nexo moving on to play in the finals versus question mark, question mark, question mark. We'll never know.